Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. And we have the tremendous privilege here at Anderton's.co.uk in the heart of Guildford, England, to be testing these Ibanez Jake Bowen guitars. Now, check them out. <laughs> This little video might end up coming across a bit disjointed in the edit because Rob and I have already done this once, uh, only to find that the main camera, that one there, you little bugger, uh, crashed halfway through, but we didn't yeah. realise. So what we're going to do... But you know, we love them so much, we love Periphery so yep. much, we love Jake so much, and this guitar, yeah. these guitars are so great, Yes, we're going to do the video all over again anyway. Well, so what you're going to hear is we're going to go through the main stuff again, do a bit more playing, there might be some playing from the video we did before cut in at some the point. Because the, the uh, C and Z cams yes. worked. Uh, but because there was quite a lot of funny banter in the first time round, spontaneous like funny banter, uh, <laughs> we're just uh, right at the very end of this video, um, just accompanied by, I don't know, some nice stills of the guitars or something like that, we'll just play the banter uh, like a podcast, I yes. suppose. But you just won't see the beautiful... Us. So, well, where do we start? Periphery, awesome band. Awesome band. Jake, is he? Comment section, you tell me. Is he the, one of the unsung heroes of Periphery? I don't know. Yeah. But he's a great guitar player. Does a lot of the lead, a bit of ambient stuff, some rhythm stuff. Yeah. And um, so they've, they've all got his... their signature guitars now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Uh, so, you know, Misha with his Jackson and Mark with his PRS and Jake with his, uh, with his Ibanez. Um, so let's tell you about the features of this guitar. It is a heavier than you might expect super strat style because it's a mahogany body with a maple top on it um, for those of you who think the only reason to use maple on the top is to make it look pretty you'll have to ask jake bowen why he decided to use that combination of tones and then paint it black but anyway that's another argument debate for another maybe day maybe he's a rolling stones fan you never know but he's a man of my see, own heart uh, maple top and i want to that. paint it Black. Wonderful combination of timbers. Anyway, so it's um, it's kind of like a, a slightly oversized Super Strat. It feels a bit bigger. Certainly the horns are, are more extended than a sort of RG style. And yeah. it's got a very nice arch top on it, which I'll have to, you, you might be able to see now on this cam here. You might um, be forgiven for thinking that these are bare knuckles. Bare knuckle clay. But they're not bare knuckle clay or bare knuckles. No. They are indeed Ibanez's proprietary but specially made by Jake or designed by Jake pickups called the Titans mm. yeah I think I don't know if I the, the, there's a we did a video about Ibanez pedals just before this one which may or may not be up yet uh, in which I saw this and just went of course they're bare knuckle pickups but they're not uh, before that was before I'd read the spec uh, they are Ibanez's you know Jake Bowen Titan pickups um, passive pickups kind of uh, grunty pretty grunty um, difficult to you know difficult to get a really clean sound out of but with the um, immortal question does it gent yes yes absolutely it gents <laughs> We've got a Wizard 3 neck on it, which is a little bit fatter than a, a, a sort of a regular Wizard neck. Uh, a completely standard uh, Strat style scale length, 25 and a half inch. Rob's laughing there because that's essentially where the conversation went a bit awry. We basically the, uh, we spent about 10 minutes talking about Wizards and which wizards. ones were fat. But was, anyway, did Yoda you classify as a wizard? I think in a, in a way, uh, in a way, it's a blessing that that camera crashed because the people that just like to see us talking about the gear can just switch off before the. You know, wizards starts. can bless as well. 
can they? One of my favourite spells from the original Wizardry game was a bless, a, a bless spell. Yeah, really? it, was, it was fantastic. Yeah. We're going all Dungeons Great and Dragons here, aren't we? Great for just against uh, all um, sorts of stuff. So 25 and a half inch scale length. So the, this is drop tuned and to keep the tension in the strings, they're kind of fairly heavy strings on here. Uh, zero edge, you know, Ibanez trim system. You see this on a lot of Ibanez guitars. Bolt on neck, uh, satin black finish all over with very pretty sort of reveal binding going around the edge of the, both the body and the neck. And uh, Goto, uh, really cool looking tuners. Yeah, uh, coming straight out of Indonesia, which is making some great guitars yes, at the moment. It most certainly is. I'm telling you now, if you are a periphery fan, fan of Jake, and you buy one of these guitars, you are absolutely not going to be disappointed. No. They, they feel great. They look really expensive because the yeah. black and the gold and the whole vibe. And they, they play really nicely. Now, to begin with, I'd like to give you some clean tones so that you can listen to these pickups because they sound sick. So check this out. <laughs> I didn't mention this in the first video. Okay, so the two coils in the neck humbucker are wired in series, so traditional um, humbucker style wiring. Position the, the, the neck, the first position back on the switch, rather than doing things that you'd expect on a five-way switch of like splitting the coils and doing a mix of the front and the back coils, it rewires those two pickups in parallel, so you get more like that idea of almost like two separate single coils working sort of against each other, hmm. like, like a position two on a strap. Um, yeah, kind of like that. So if, you, if uh -huh. you just go from position one to position two, or, yes. or so, so that's full. This is the same pickup, just as if two, it's two coils, coils wired separate. Position one, just regular humbucker. Yep. Position two is both these coils, but different, but wired uh, in parallel. Yep. That's two humbuckers. Uh huh. That's these two coils inside middle. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then that's full humbucker. Yeah. So let's go to the full humbucker. It's amazing the, the, that you can go from something like, and I'm hitting with the same velocity as well. If the if the gain control on this amplifier was any lower, it would just be off. There would be no noise. <laughs> so it, it, you can tell these are these are you know chunky sounding pickups. Yeah. These are the exact same EVH stealth uh, amplifiers that Misha actually used when he was here. Really? Yeah, because they've stayed in a cupboard in there oh, ever since he was here. Mate, you should totally give these yeah. away in a competition or something. Well, they're not mine to give away. The Fender bought them down and never took them back. Oh, really? So, yes, they've just Check. stayed in the cupboard. Tell you what, Fender, if you're watching, you can come and get these one day if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that you're advertising a Captain Anderton T-shirt while I'm always available at all good my way news around. agents and uh, I don't know. Let's put some reverb on the amp using a pedal at the back and give you a few lead tones. Just why don't we play the six string? Well, I will do. Okay. But I haven't okay. really finished. I haven't really okay. finished with this beautiful okay. sound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's way too much reverb. Yeah, I thought, I was, I'm, glad, be, I'm glad you said that. It couldn't be any more reverb if it tried. Uh, 
Try again now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, I'm not a seven string player. I'm not even a six string player. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, it feels great to play. Yeah. It feels easy to play. Yeah. And I love the tremolo too. What's the tremolo? It's just the regular Ibanez Zero Edge. You know, you get that on tons of other Ibanez guitars. So, yeah. Because we, what we haven't said yet, have we said yet how much these are? I don't think we have. No. So, I guess unlike uh, Misha and Mark, who both went for kind of custom shop guitars, so that, you know, Misha with his custom shop Jackson guitar and Mark with his sort of USA PRS guitar, uh, Jake has gone for kind of Indonesian production line, pretty affordable. Uh, so uh, a lot of the, the things like the tremolo and, and the hardware on here uh, are, you know, typical of other guitars in this sort of price bracket. Uh, the seven, I think, is about eight, 50 something like that pounds and I think the six is about 800 pounds that's maybe 750 800 obviously great value for money and it is for an artist signature guitar that he actually you know that, that he actually helped design I think it is good value yes we've got the upside downy input jack thingy input jack thingy now it did amaze me when you played through this before how much less percussive a guitar becomes when it's not tuned quite so low. It just sounds wrong in the wrong tune. Yeah, you've got to play something else. like there's the whether or not he's voiced those on bare knuckles or whatever but that sounds badass it sounds it? really good mm. it's got that percussive percussive yeah no it's percussive, percussive. jet thing yeah and Damn. you don't get I that on, but it on has. you know you could play the same kind of riff on on a guitar with like my guitar that's just got the jb and you know it just doesn't it hasn't got that percussiveness no. and that's got to be that that is the you know what? That's the word, isn't Jake it? Jake can be incredibly proud of what he's yes. managed to do with Ibanez. One volume knob, no tone control. No. I guess uh, it doesn't, you know, it unnecessary. Just makes it loud or unnecessary. Um, and a nice guitar. Well, there you go. Um, called a Titan. So I will put a link in the description section below to go find out more about uh, both these guitars on the Anderton's website. Uh, and if you're, you know, if you've still got some. Uh, energy or uh, stamina, that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> this video will now carry on uh, with Rob and I rambling about... About wizards. About uh, an old game show called Bullseye, Fat Wizards and general other 
jiggery pokery. I'm sorry, and I've been Rob Chapman. And uh, I'm sorrier, and I've been the captain. <laughs> See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one time only <laughs> podcast. Greetings, I'm Jabbaz. I'm the captain. Oh, we got some Abernelsis. <laughs> we have indeed. From Periphery Camp of yes. Jake Bowen. The uh, the third. Well, I don't know. You know, there are three guitarists, aren't there? In in uh, there are in three guitar periphery, players, and they periphery. each now have their own signature guitars. As thus they deserve a need. Misha with his need. Jackson and Mark with his PRS and Jake with his Ibanez. They just got whatever they needed because they're great. Jake yeah. kind I of said, I know what we'll do. If we each ask a different manufacturer to make us a guitar, then kind of like wherever in the world we are, one of them should be able to sort <laughs> out what we need. Cover question, the bases. Question for the comment section. Is Jake the unsung hero of Periphery? Uh, we'll find I out. Don't know. I guess uh, the comment section will tell us. Possibly. Does a bit of lead, does a bit of ambience, does I'm a lot of great play. That, uh, I'm just pleased that uh, he found something else to do after giving up uh, a fantastic career hosting um, Bullseye. Nobody under the age of about 40 who doesn't live in the UK is going to have any idea what I'm talking about. But don't you remember the theory goes, let's see what you could have won. Let's and then see they, what you could have won. <laughs> oh, could, could you live 300 toy. miles from the nearest coastline, but you've just won a speedboat. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> the poor people who've tuned in to watch a demonstration of some wonderful uh, Ibanez guitars and you've taken it. Sorry, that I couldn't. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I, fine. This poor guy. But Lee, you can, put, you can the, save this situation by telling me your favourite Periphery song. Icarus Lives. Well done. That's great. That's one of my favourite <laughs> tunes from Periphery as well. Honestly, no word of a lie. When I had to interview Misha Mansur last year, and I listened to loads of Periphery yeah. to try and get into it, and it was all massive, complete, you know, brain melting stuff, and I struggled. The only song that I did actually kind of get into was Icarus Lives. Right. Genuinely. I think, it, I think it's, a really, it's, the, it's, the it's most, an accessible riff. Yeah, it's, it's the most accessible. I think the video is really cool, actually. I haven't seen the video. Oh, it's sick. It's really cool. Um, lots of glass, lots of water. So, anyway, anyway, let's talk about the guitars. Let's talk about guitars. There's a seven and uh, a six. Tremolo system. Tell me about the tremolo zero system. Zero edge, just regular. It's a Wizard 3 neck, so it's a, you know, Wizard 3. Which Extra the armors. Uh, <laughs> Which is basically a little fatter than a regular wizard, uh, and like um, half a Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Do I'm you know any wizards? I'm Lee? trying to think of a fat wizard. Okay, I'll was give you a fat, fat wizard. Dumbledore. No, he wasn't a fat wizard, was he? What was what was the the guy that the, the fat Scotch bloke played? Hagrid. Hagrid. Hagrid's Hagrid's not, a wizard? He's not a wizard. He's a half giant. Okay, sorry. Hagrid's not a wizard, Lee. So name a fat wizard then. Name a fat wizard. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, there are many. Some uh, wizards are just because they're so clever, they know how to look after themselves. Well, I mean, Sauron get, he looks fairly healthy. Well, he's just an eyeball. No, Sauron is not an eyeball. You're thinking of Sauron. You're thinking of Sauron. You and I, no, you're thinking we of, need to get no, our dominoes on. It's not on. Sauron, it's Saruman. Sa Saruman, Sauron, yeah, Sa Sauron. No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> it's, it's Saruman and Sauron are two different. They are. You know that. Saruman is the person. And he's pretty. He's, Sauron he's is in, the eye. Saruman's in good shape. He's in great shape. Yeah, Gandalf he's, he's in good shape. So name a fat wizard then. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I suppose despite his stature, Yoda could be turned a wizard. Yeah. And he's kind of slightly podged, he's but he's podged, very short. Wasn't the um, the brown wizard? I can't in, believe it said Yoda was a wizard. Wasn't 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 the brown wizard in Lord of the Rings? He was a bit fat, wasn't he? No, Ragnar. An amazing oh, actor name? as well. Yeah, good actor. Yeah, great actor. What are we talking about, Lee? I have no idea. Let's play. <laughs> Just don't cross the streams. No, don't cross the streams. Are you excited about the new Ghost uh, Ghostbusters? Uh, am I allowed to say I didn't even know there was going to be one? Or? Uh, yes, you are. Excellent. <laughs> is, you excited uh, about is, Deadpool? Is, is Bill Murray in the new Ghostbusters? Or? No, it's all it's all female. Oh my god, I'm totally tangled it's in cables. It's an all female cast of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be great. It looks I like can... it could be really funny. Good. Ghosts Excellent can catch. Stuff. Girls can catch ghosts too, man. <laughs> That's what I, was gonna... I never thought they couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound right in that key. Stop it. Stop it. 
Right. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to go and have Rob put down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been Rob. I've been the captain. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Shot. I mean, I suppose, despite his stature, Yoda could be turned a wizard. Yeah. And he's kind of slightly podged, he's but he's podged, very short.